Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever, whatever it is, wherever you are. It is Wednesday, once again, already. And man, does the time frickin' fly. First of all, little weather report, location update. I am still, of course, because I live here, in uh, South Texas. Look at this. Nice, sunny, breezy day out here. It is actually, let's check, uh, 78 degrees in here. Although I think it's probably a little bit cooler, not really because of the sun. Not really cooler out here, but nonetheless, it feels great. I pity the people that are living in those cold weather climates, right? That's, that's really got to suck. Anyway, we got lots to talk about today. Uh, pertaining to the 2024 Toyota Tacoma, of course. Now, before we get going, there is a pet peeve. Something wrong on this Tacoma that I've got to take care of, and it is very, very minor. We're going to do it live right now because it's so easy. But real quick, if you're just kicking in here, click that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Helps me out. And it's easy and it doesn't cost you anything. So let's go ahead. Let me flip you guys around. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. My little pet peeve here. Let's get this chair out of the way. I don't want to ding up my brand new door. What I'm talking about is right there. You see that? What is this? Why do I have that? I don't know. Bigger question is, why did I leave it? So let's get rid of it. It's gonna be pretty easy. Can also brush some dirt off of this thing. These are the, uh, ugh. these are the TRD uh, sport, I guess, floor mats. Yeah, the cheapo cloth ones. I mean, they look pretty good. They're a little bit dirty. Let's get some of that junk off of there. Now, what I'm gonna do, and why, why? Is this like one of those mattress? I mean, look at all this. They gotta show you how to do what you do, right? I don't know. But does it say on there, only to be removed by the customer, penalty of law? Um, let's see, use this driver's side only, designed specifically for this model, should not be used any other way. Uh, from shifting, blah, 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 must be installed directly, blah, blah, blah. Never place the floor mat in the vehicle upside down or backwards. Well, who cares? I don't care about that. So what we're going to do, this is uh, a pretty simple procedure. Uh, what we're going to do, let me see if I can get you guys down here a little bit. Okay. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. It's such a monumental thing, I realize, you know, you're probably going to want to make sure you see it, but it involves a pair of scissors. We're going to cut this stupid thing off, or at least cut as much of it off as I can right around the edges of this stupid thing. Again, I don't know why it's on here. It always gets in the way. I've had it on other trucks, and I think I usually just tuck it down, but why? Why do that? Why not just... Get the stupid thing off of here so that you don't see it. I mean, it is underneath, right? So you're never going to see it. Now, this is going to end up, God knows where, somewhere all over the garage, probably. Again, it's one of those petty little stupid things, but come on, man. Look, there. Now, I'm even going to take, no, nah, I'm not going to take off this white one here. We're going to leave that. That's it. Now, let's brush it off. This is my, uh, my method of cleaning up the truck, right? So now let's put it back in. It's just that simple. All right, let's go back over here. Certainly gonna look better without having that sticking out, that orange stupid label or yellow, whatever it was. Let's put it back in here. There's a little tutorial for floor mats if you've never done this before. I don't know who's never done this before, but kind of hard to do in the dark with one hand, but you just twist the little things in there. Now, doesn't that look better? No more yellow tags sticking out here. I mean, come on, man. We don't need that, do we? Do we really need that? I don't think so. So that takes care of that. <clears throat> that is my uh, live stream mod uh, for the day. Let's get you guys back up in the air. There we go. So that takes care of that. Got a couple of comments on here. Let's get to those. And then we're going to get to the meat of it. Lots of news today. Lots of things going on. Uh, let's see. Paul Harris says, where is everybody? I'm here and nobody else is here. What's up with it? I'm here. You're here. 50 people are here. And by the way, if you're here and you haven't subscribed yet, 
as I'm drooling, uh, click that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Uh, Wayne Scott, the new Forerunner is basically the new Tacoma. Uh, there is a lot of similarity. I've seen it briefly. I haven't really delved into it because honestly, I'm not a Forerunner guy. It's, it's really not my thing. Uh, so I'm not really gonna dig into the Forerunner at all, but there is a lot of similarity. And I, I suppose people are now gonna say that all the Forerunner is is just a, a mini Tundra, right? I mean, fair is fair, right? Uh, Rolando, have you heard of Last Fit? They have four mats for the taco, but the product is, uh, fits perfectly snug and overlap and give max protection. Of course I have. I've done stuff for last, last fit before. I think uh, the four mats I had in the last Tacoma were from them, I think. I'm not sure. Bob England, love the hat. Yeah, I'm going to get to the purpose of this hat. This is a bit of an advertisement, I will admit. Full transparency, but there's a reason. Uh, you raised me up. Good morning, Rob. Can't wait for the lift videos. No, oh, we're going to get to that in a minute. Now, what is the purpose of the hat? Well, of course, I'm a big Pedal Commander fan, and I am an affiliate of theirs as well, full disclosure. Um, I did order and get a Pedal Commander right here. This is for the 2024 Tacoma. You know I had to get one of these for this truck, right? And by the way, if you're looking for the Pedal Commander, and if you've got a third gen, we're going to find out on the fourth gen, but if you've got a third gen, you got to get one of these. I mean, how do you manage to drive around in that truck as gutless as it is without the Pedal Commander in it? And if you're not familiar with the Pedal Commander, it gets rid of throttle lag. That, that's what really holds back the third gen. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of announce that there is a discount code. It's RobMotive1. You can save 30 big ones. That's $30 US uh, at pedalcommander.com. RobMotive1. Now, part number, in case anybody has the 2024 and you're interested, it is PC55. You guys can see right there, PC55. Now, if you happen to have a third gen, and see, this is proof. I do actually have two different ones. Uh, if you have a third gen, it's PC38. You can control this thing with Bluetooth, which means you can use your phone. It's awesome. Anyway, I'm not going to take up the whole video with a Pedal Commander commercial. It's just something that you've got to have. I will be installing this on the truck. Uh, and we're going to see if it makes any difference on the fourth gen. You know, I have mentioned before that throttle lag seems to be almost fully eliminated. You know, the longer I have the truck, the more I drive it, the more I do notice a little bit of a, a hiccup right in the beginning when you get on the gas. And I figure Pedal Commander is going to take care of that. There's like bugs and stuff flying around. We're having a gnat attack today. So if you see me swiping in the air, it's because I'm being attacked by these freaking gnats. Anyway, enough about that. Um, We've got to get to the lift part of this. You saw the thumbnail, right? That truck is actually lifted, by the way. It's a 2024. That one is an SR5. Uh, I believe it's a 4x4, but honestly, I'm not positive of that. I think it is. Uh, let's see. Ju Juliana Lopez. Yeah. I finally need to get one of... I finally need to get to one of your lives. I appreciate that. Thank you for being here, by the way. Um, so let's get to the lift. We've got to talk about the lift because I am going to, well, first of all, let me, let me take off the hat, uh, see if the gnats leave me alone. It seems like the more skin you have exposed, there's one right now. I just saw it over there. Little mother. Oh, there's more than one. Lovely. They may drive me insane. There's two of them, three of them. Oh. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to swat at them as we uh, as we go on. Uh, I, I have no problems destroying them, pulverizing them. They drive me insane. Maybe I'm already there. I don't know. So anyway, the lift that truck is a white SR5 2024. They put the lift on. Now, there's been a little bit of controversy on the channel. People have been telling me that's not a TRD lift. I know what a TRD lift is, even though they've never seen one in person, probably, because nobody's lifting the 24s yet, at least not in mass, uh, with the, uh, the Toyota product. So what it is, Toyota has a kit. It's a TRD lift kit. Now, 
Toyota only installs the Toyota kit because they warranty it. They will not install and warranty, at least not my dealer, a third party kit because Toyota, and I'm not talking about the dealership now, Toyota will not warranty a third party lift. Now, it's not to say that you can't get lifts with warranty from third parties, of course you can. Just make sure you have a reputable shop that's gonna be around for a little while, right? I mean, you don't wanna buy one and then the, the shop disappears. Uh, Juliana says, how long is the live gonna, gonna go for? Um, <clears throat> I don't know, no more than probably 58 minutes. That seems to be the sweet spot, but it could be longer. It just depends on you guys. I mean, if a lot of people get on and we're really cooking, then I'm gonna stay on longer. But if not, then I'm not gonna, because you know, there's nothing worse than being on the web and sitting here and talking to yourself. That's kind of boring for me. Uh, Jeffro, 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 is that like Jeffro? Jeffro, 593, picking up my Tacoma TRD off-road today. Oh man, I bet you can't wait. I assume you're getting the 2024, right? Um, and where are you located? I'm just curious, what, uh, what state are you in? It seems to me that the 2024s are now becoming more available out there. Doesn't mean you're gonna walk around the lot and they're gonna be sitting everywhere, but they do seem to be becoming a little bit more prevalent. Jeez, I might have to go in the house. I don't know, these things are gonna drive me insane. Anyway, uh, congratulations to you, that is cool. Uno says, Roberto, are you going with the five inch lift on stock wheels and tires? No. No, uh, I'm not. I'm going to be changing uh, the wheels and tires as well. Juliana says, what is your, what is your three top favorite cars? Uh, I don't know, Porsche, Chevelle, that's the old Chevy Chevelle and the Corvette, I guess. Uh, let's see. Uh, going to get rid of that comment. You guys didn't even get to see it. We've got the little kids coming on already. It's so early. Is school out today? I don't know. Ray T, aloha Rob, my local Toyota dealer just got a shipment of about 15, uh, 24 tacos. Awesome, that is too cool. Where in the world, since you said aloha, I assume you're in Hawaii. Now, Hawaii is the number one state for the Toyota Tacoma. They're, from what I'm told, everywhere in Hawaii. And since they are the number one truck, I guess, probably overall, um, I believe uh, you probably should be getting a lot. I mean, I don't know how they keep so many there and keep the market if they don't, right? Little shot of the green nectar. Ah, gotta keep that fuel tank pumping, baby. Uh, Uno says, can't wait for this weekend, Rob. I'm finally getting my tires and wheels installed. Yep, she's, gonna, she's getting new shoes. That's awesome. I'm sure you're gonna love it, man. I'm sure it's gonna be pretty darn cool. So, what am I getting? Oh, back, wait, before I get to that, back to this TRD lift business. It is Toyota's lift. You know, I don't know why. You know, anytime you show anything, people like to get on and say, oh, that's not right. You're getting ripped off. They're putting an aftermarket lift on and selling it to you for too much money. That's a bunch of bold stuff. Um, it'd take a pretty disreputable dealership to do that. I mean... For me, one guy, they're going to they're gonna ruin their whole reputation, especially if they know that I have a channel and that I have some number of viewers uh, and that I'm going to publicize it if that were to happen. I mean, come on, man. Anyway, it's the TRD lift kit from Toyota. They had to order it. Oh, and by the way, the way that I'll really know is if it comes in that really cool crate that it comes in. And I got to try to put my hands on that before they destroy it or rip it out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Juliana says, yes, school is out today. Well, there you go. See, that's why you get the little kitties on here with ridiculous comments. And they don't even make it. They, they get hidden. You don't even get to see them. So I don't know. I don't know why they, they are so enthralled uh, with getting on the web and saying dumb things. But that's what kids do, right? That's why they're kids. Some of them, not all of them. Uh, but anyway, it is the TRD lift kit. Um... It comes in that crate, so I'll be able to tell if that is indeed what it is. 
And it depends. Now, I think where a lot of people are getting mixed up about it being the genuine TRD kit versus some aftermarket deal is it's not necessarily going to be marked with the TRD insignia and all the stuff that you see on the Pro. And that's because they do that for the Pro. They paint it red. Um, the, the UCA is painted red. Mine should have TRD on it. Uh, I looked at the one in the pictures. It said TRD on the UCA. I don't know if you guys can see that or saw it in the video that I put out. I went over, that maybe that hasn't even aired yet. Well, if it hasn't, I think it has. Uh, there's a video either out or coming that shows the lift. I went to the dealer. I wanted to see what it looks like in person on the truck before I dropped the money myself. And I liked it, it was pretty cool. Now, we are doing something different. Oh, wheels, let's talk about wheels. If you saw the video, it had, at least it says, TRD center cap, and then it had black TRD wheels, all black. I like all black. I am not a big fan of that. That right there, that being what? Brushed aluminum and pewter? Almost black, but brushed aluminum and pewter. It's not my, even saying that word, pewter. I, I'm not a big fan of that. So, and, and it's not a knock on anybody that is. Everybody always gets so defensive. Oh, I take it personally when you tell me you don't like silver. Why? Get what you like. I'm not paying for it. You are. But people get offended when you tell them your own personal, it's my own personal taste. You know, I don't care if you don't like my black wheels. You didn't help me pay for it. You know what I'm saying? So it's not a ding to anybody personally. It's just my own preference. We're all different, right? Thank God. Anyway, we'll carry on in a second. Let's get to some more of these comments, man. Um, uh, let's see, Juliana, the kids are off. Juliana says, I am the kid, I am 10. Well, Juliana, you're not supposed to be in here. This is 18 and over. Are you breaking YouTube's rules? Um, let's see, Juliana says, I'm very interested in this stuff. Well, that's good. I mean, if you're interested and you say good things and you're not here for nefarious reasons, but just keep in mind, it is 18 and over. Disclosure, I'm just saying, it says that right on the video somewhere. Anyway, but you can be here if you want, it's up to you. Um, I mean, I can't stop you, obviously. Uh, Dan Gert says, my understanding is that the Trail Hunter version will be using Old Man Emu, yes, Old Man Emu suspension uh, setup. Any indication of what the white truck you saw had on it? Was, the brand, was there a brand such as Bill Stein? Yeah, it was Bill Stein's or Steen's, however you wanna pronounce that. Um, that's part of the TRD lift kit. Uh, and then it had the, the more robust, looked like cast um, UCA as well, uh, amongst some other parts. I mean, I'll have a full list of that kind of stuff once I actually get it. And yes, I am getting it and I have it on order. It should have been in already. It was the next day I was told, but there's a problem. I'll tell you what the problem is. It's not a problem, there's a delay. And I'll tell you what that is in just a second. Uh, Uno says 10. Yeah, I mean, you know. Uh, PRR Sean says, yep, you already posted the video. Okay, so you guys have seen uh, the lift. It's a, they told me it's a three inch lift. I believe it's a two and a half inch lift. <clears throat> and then once you add the half inch that the, the tires give you, because they're an inch bigger, so it's a half an inch overall for the height. Um, because it's a round circle diameter. Anyway, not gonna get into geometry, but that would yield a three inch height raise, if you will. Um, let's see, PRR Sean says, plus one for black wheels. Absolutely, gotta have black wheels. I thought about going with chrome, or not chrome, oh my God, uh, bronze, but yeah, I don't know. With the other accents that I'm thinking of doing on the truck, which would be black, I think bronze would be a third color, and that's just, too much, I think. Uh, Uno, Rob, are you going with the true and trusted black rhinos for this taco? No, I'm not because, uh, well, one, I like the TRD wheels that were on the white one. And two, you can't get the stadiums, excuse me, like I had before. They discontinued them, last I was told, unless they've changed something, I don't know. But those are my favorites. I mean, those black rhino wheels are awesome. Plus, you can do a mod to that center cap if you're industrious enough to do it. Uh, cruising, uh, cruising through space. 
People love telling others how to live. Isn't it true? I mean, if you really want to, if you really want to experience and see that, just start a YouTube channel. Because there's a lot of people. You know, I had a, a guy once. I'm going to tell you a little story. A little story about a man I don't know. Um, I got a comment on the channel. Some guy dogging the way that I do videos, my style, how I speak, the lighting, the camera. I mean, everything, right? And he's trying to tell me how I should, how I should be doing videos, right? So I thought, all right, well, you never know. I mean, I'm always open to constructive criticism, right? So this guy happened to have a channel. I go to his channel. Oh, my God. He's like a freaking zombie. There's practically no lighting. It's like dim. He talks like this, and he doesn't have any energy. A lot of pauses, a lot of ums and ahs, and, you know, the stuff that you're like, oh, my God. I mean, it was horrible. <clears throat> so... I think I told him, you know, I sometimes I'm a little bit of a smart arse when, uh, when people tell me things and they're not really very good. Uh, but anyway, I think I responded to him that, you know, I checked out your videos and honestly, I think maybe you need to study mine a little bit more. Uh, he also said that you need to have a script. You should write out a whole script and follow the script when you do your video. And I'm like, what? I'm not doing that. My videos are all off the cuff. I don't have a script. I will write things down on a, a whiteboard once in a while if I want to remember points. God, a bird about the size of a 747 just flew over. This great big shadow just went across my garage. Uh, but anyway, I will write down, just so you guys can see, right up, uh, where is it? Where is that at? Where, where is it? Right there. There's a whiteboard there. Um, and I do write notes and things on there if I want to make sure I, I don't forget something. Uh, but that's it as far as scripts go. Everything I do is uh, off, the, off the cuff. I mean, I just, I don't write scripts. That would make it boring to me, for me, so I don't do that. Uh, let's see. Um, I am the same way. I actually plasti dip my original wheels I had on my taco. Uh, then when I bought my black rhinos, uh, I chose black, of course. Well, of course. I mean, I went with bronze. Man. It's allergy season here, and I have allergies, so. Um, yeah, black is great. I love black wheels uh, myself. So, Nicholas Dorsett, any relation to Tony? Um, wait, what are the specs for your truck? I am new here. It's a 2024, let's take a look, since you asked. Um, it's a 2024 TRD Sport. You guys can see right here. Of course, it's the four-cylinder turbo engine. Uh, I love it. It's in supersonic red. I wanted a truck that was eye-catching. Uh, something, hold on a minute. I must, I must blow my nose. You guys don't want to witness this, do you? Allergies. What a pain in the, in the nose, I got to say. Okay, took care of that. I'm not sure how long it'll last before I got to take care of it again. But anyway, it's a 2024. I've had it for about, I think, two weeks now, something like that. I traded off my third gen electric line, if you've ever seen that, uh, on the channel. Uh, let's see, Nicholas says, your, uh, yeah, I get it, I understand. It's not, it's not, and that's another thing. This isn't a, an English class, right? It's not a grammar class or a punctuation class. You know, sometimes people will get on and they say, Rob, you used whatever word incorrectly. It should have been this. But what I find really funny when I, when I get those kind of comments is that they're not using any punctuation, no capitalization. And a lot of times they use the wrong tense or phrase themselves. And I'm like, come on, of course I have to point that out, you know. I, I mean, it's like saying uh, you're going to the store and spelling it Y-O-U-R instead of Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. I mean, if you're going to nitpick on me, you damn well better get it right yourself, right? Don't nitpick me, and you're doing everything wrong. By the way, speaking of nitpicking, it's, uh, it's time for a reminder. Click that subscribe button if you haven't before. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to click the notification bell and hit the thumbs up since you're in here. I assume, assume, you know what happens when you do that, right? I assume you like it. All right, let's get on some more comments, then we're going to get to the delay in my lift for the 2024 Tacoma back there. 
Um, let's see. Uh, Dope Frog. He's smiling some way. I don't know. Juliana says, thank you for letting me stay in this. I really like this stuff. It's my favorite thing watching your lives, and I really like it. Well, you're welcome. Again, just disclosure, it is an 18 and over, so, you know, but there won't be anything nasty in here. I, that's not my kind of channel, so. Uh, Stitch says, a hard lesson for the day. Don't fight a guy with stay calm tattooed on his knuckles. Uh, we shook hands afterwards, but good Lord, my nose... <laughs> I feel sorry for you. Um, Aaron says, uh, industrial. Industrial? I don't even know what that means. Uh, Chuck McDonough, triple thumbed up. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Alpha Core, do you miss the third, your third gen yet? No, I don't miss the third gen. Um, <clears throat> Matt, I don't miss the third gen at all. The fourth gen, which by the way, is right here behind me. This is a fourth gen. You can tell by the little uh, spoiler up there. Uh, the fourth gen is much better. Nothing wrong with the third gen. So again, don't take it personally. I'm not dogging your third gen or second gen truck. I love them as well. But this truck is just, it's just better in every way. We'll find out if it's better from a longevity standpoint, but from a drivability, comfort, power, acceleration, technology, stance, look. Well, not necessarily look. The third gen looks pretty good. Uh, but it's just better in almost every way. How's that? Uh, let's see. Uh, PR Sean. I can't decide if I want the new Taco or Forerunner. Both look awesome. Tough choice. That's an easy choice for me. Do you want an SUV? Uh, a kid hauler? A mama wagon? Unless you mod it and take it off-roading and camp in it and stuff. Or do you want a truck? That's why I always I always get a kick out of it. People tell me, "Oh, you should get the you should get the Forerunner," and I'm like, "I don't want an SUV. If I wanted an SUV, I'd have bought an SUV." And it's not like they're you know you can just swap them and you get the same thing. I'm not gonna throw a load of dirt in the back of my Forerunner. Are you kidding me? No, not my thing, man. Not gonna do it. Um, let's see. I can't decide. Dan Gertz says, interested to know how it works in the U.S. Here in Canada, we can't purchase TRD Pro accessories unless we have or own a VIN that is attached to a TRD Pro. That's pretty easy to get around, you see. A lot of dealer sites in the U.S. and Canada will list VIN numbers on their website. So if you're dealing with somebody who wants you to input a VIN, and I know it's not exactly honest, then grab that VIN number from an existing truck out there and use it. You know, if they're going to make you do dumb things to buy parts from them, you do what you got to do. They're not going to throw you in jail for it. I know it's not the most honest thing in the world. I've done it myself. I'm just saying. Um, Holden Snow. And yes, you do run into that sometimes, depending on who you're dealing with. If you go to a dealership that... Uh, maybe they've been dinged by Toyota or they're real sticklers for stuff like that. They may want you to have a pro before they'll sell you the parts. Go somewhere else. I've done it. Ah. <clears throat> Holden Snow. I love my third gen. Just got 350000 yesterday. Wow. It's going to be interesting to see if the fourth gen will achieve those kind of numbers. I mean, I don't know. And will I ever know myself? Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. Probably not. Uh, because I'll probably move on to the next uh, version, like the hybrid. Or maybe Toyota will start doing a uh, remodel sooner than every million years. Uh, so I don't know that all I will ever get there. But I'm sure there will be folks that we can follow that will. Ray T says, Rob, I am in Hawaii and without a doubt the Tacoma capital of the nation and maybe the world. <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> I know, <clears throat> excuse me, that the Tacoma is the number one selling midsize in Ohio, in, in Ohio, in Hawaii. And I know that the most Tacomas are sold there. So they're number one for the Toyota Tacoma. Uh, Aaron is uh, roaring or something. Uno says, PR, if four runners came in manual, I'd get one. But you're just SOL, baby. Uno says, Holden Snow, you must travel a lot with those miles. Yeah, or he bought a truck that somebody else did. Have you owned that 350,000 mile Tacoma since it was new? Or did you buy it used? 
Little mothers. Did you buy it used uh, and it already had a lot of miles on it? I'm just curious to know, that's all. It's really none of my business, but you know, I'm not asking you for your social security number or anything. Um, let's see. Uh, PRR Sean says, Uno, rumor has it the Forerunner may come with a manual. I don't know. Again, I don't follow the Forerunner, so I don't know a lot about them. Uh, Will says, I'm watching this on the throne. Uh, well, that's good to know. I'm not sure why you shared that with us, but if it makes you feel better, I guess. Um, Uno says, Sean, seriously? Um, I don't know. Justin Campbell, when are you going to put the new rims and tires on? Okay, let's, a uh, couple more comments. We're going to get to that. Uh, Rohan Rue, what's going on? Nothing. Just hanging out, talking to you guys. Uh, circulation, circular motion. Uh, last shot to win a game. Kobe or LeBron? Michael, what are you talking about? Always Michael. God, I thought I saw a snake in there. Got to watch for those, man. Those little buggers like to come in here and join me sometimes, and I do not like snakes. Uh, Vibe Adventures, you look like you're, like you're stuck in the Matrix. Uh, according to some, we are all stuck in the Matrix, aren't we? I mean, I don't know. So let's get on to what is the holdup with uh, the situation on my 2024 lift. Uh, before we do that, if you just click it in, don't forget, click that subscribe button. It really helps me out. I really would appreciate it. And it doesn't cost you a dime. Okay, let's talk about it. I went and looked at that white uh, Tacoma, and you know, I said in the video, and you saw in the video, I'm sure, that it has BF Goodrich KO2s, all-terrain tires on it. Now, I'm not a hater of BF Goodrich KO2s, but they're not my favorite. My favorites... Do you know what my favorites are? Before I tell you, take a guess. I want to see down below. What's my favorite tire? Does anybody out there know? Does anybody out there actually watch the channel? I'm curious. Leave a comment down below, and then we'll uh, we'll get on with it. Uh, let's see. Dope Frog says, "Hey, you skipped me, bro." Uh, well, if I did, I apologize. I don't know why I'd have skipped you, unless, of course, your comment was inappropriate, and then. I probably did. Uh, Mike Hawk says, you didn't read my comment. Uh, and then we have a childish comment. I don't know why, but we're going to get rid of that. Yeah, I do find that childish. Again, not the right forum for that. There's plenty of sarcastic, juvenile forums out there for you. This isn't one of them. Go to your room, Junior. Uh, Vibe Adventures, Cooper. No, no, not Coopers. Uh, David R... Arnon, Arnon, Arnon. I'm going with Arnon. Uh, Wild Peaks, yes, of course. Of course it's Wild Peaks. Anybody who watches my channel knows that I'm a fan of Falcon Wild Peaks. You know, there's, there's two things that your Toyota Tacoma needs if you're going to do anything with tires. Number one is Falcon Wild Peaks. Number two is the Pedal Commander. This is for... Uh, the 2024. I don't have it installed yet. I will be installing it on this truck, and I highly recommend it. I really do. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to put that person in timeout. We'll go five minutes this time, and then maybe we'll do them longer. I don't know. Um, let's see. Wild Peaks is it, of course. Scott Runnels. How do you stop uh, burning oil in, in a two blah, blah, blah engine? Um, if it's doing it, it's doing it. You're not going to stop burning oil. I mean, you probably have a gasket problem or a seal problem or a, I don't know, a valve problem, some kind of problem. The only way you're going to stop it is to fix it, right? Um, there is no magic elixir you can mix with the oil to stop burning oil. I'm just saying. Well, there is one way you can not burn oil. Don't turn it on. Okay, here's the deal. I am switching out the KO2s with the Falcon Wild Peaks for two reasons. One, I like them better. They're smooth. They're the best tire I've ever had. And I've had Middle Ridge Grapplers, Falcon Wild Peaks, Duratrex, um, and KO2s, as well as all the various, I've also had Toyos, <coughs> um, stock tires that dealerships put on. The Falcon Wild Peaks have always been the best. Um, that's one reason. The second reason is because of the design of the tire, the, the stronger, more aggressive sidewalls, lugs, I think they're called, 
It's gonna look, and this is an appearance thing, it's gonna look like I get more wheel poke than I actually do. It'll look like more than what I get or would get out of the KO2s. The hiccup here is, I, when I got a deal for you too, by the way, but the hiccup here is they're not in stock in, in the area. So they had to order the tires. They're 285, let's see, 285, 70 R18s. So they are gonna be 18s. The wheels are gonna be 18s. Uh, they had to order them. They're coming from the north, either California or north, and it's like three to four to six days, something like that, to get them in. So that's why it's, that's, that's the hiccup. That's why it's going to take longer. Now, I have a deal for you. If you're in the market and you're looking for new rubber, new tires, new shoes, right now, at least as of two days ago, Falcon is uh, running a special through Toyota. I'm not sure if it's company wide or just Toyota, uh, but it's buy three, get one for a buck. Now, they're $351 tires, man, I think. I think that's what they cost for my size. So that's a $350 savings. Plus, they're the best tire out there as far as I'm concerned. So you go to Toyota, you tell them you want yourself some tires, some Falcon Wild Peaks, and uh, you get three and the fourth one for a buck. You can't beat that, man. And I'm curious, I wonder if they'd give you a fifth one at a reduced price, you know, for the spare. Of course, then you gotta buy the wheel too. And by the way, there's something shocking about the spare tire on the new Tacoma. I have a video coming out on that. I don't know if it's released yet or not, but you're gonna wanna see that, particularly if you're an off-roader. I think it's very important uh, that you know what's going on with that spare tire if you're an off-road type. You know what I'm saying? So, where does that put me uh, timeline-wise? Well, I made the deal on Monday. Today is Wednesday. Uh, six days, let's see, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday. It should be in and everything should be ready to roll next week, which means I should be able to get that thing installed next week. Oh, and there's another reason I like this. Toyota, the dealership themselves, are doing the install. If you didn't know, a lot of dealerships will farm out lifts like they do window tents and things like that to third-party shops. So you may not necessarily even know who the heck is doing your lift. Are they any good? Did they get a, a deal from Toyota? So maybe they don't spend as much time. Maybe they're not uh, as proficient. I'm not saying they are, but who knows? You know what I'm saying? Mine is coming directly or being done at the dealership, a Toyota dealership, uh, and will have Toyota's warranty. So I'm just saying. Oh, there's another thing I got to tell you guys about the... Uh, the KO2s versus the Falcon Wild Peaks. Don't let me forget, this is really important too, and it doesn't cost you any more money. Now, let's catch up on, uh, on a couple of comments, see where we're at. Scott Runnels is laughing out loud, just going crazy over there. Uno says, Rob, take care, brother. Got to go back to making a few coins at work. Hey, Uno, thanks for being on here. I really appreciate it, and do me a favor. Send me a picture of your truck with the new meats on it, man. I'd love to see it. Uh, Rum Runner, how do I get the kids back from her? Um, I don't know. You shouldn't have done something to lose them in the first place, I guess. Uh, Mumphy, got to try the MT Baja Boss. Uh, are those what you're running on your truck? Uh, you and uh, somebody else I know. I can't remember right now. But uh, I have heard of those. Um, but they're, aren't they pretty aggressive? And what's the road noise like? Uh, Jim Hubbard, how long have you lived in Texas? Do you like it a lot better than Ohio? I've lived in Texas. This is my sixth year. Um, I came from Ohio, and do I like it better? Oh, my God. Do I like it better? Let me, let me show you something. Do you see this? Do you see that out there? Do you see that right up there? That is called blue sky. And look at that. We've got palm trees down here. I live in deep south Texas. That's why we have palm trees. I mean, it looks like a freaking jungle over there, but that's a little deceiving. It doesn't all look like that here. But check out that sky. Do you see that? Do you see that? And look at how it looks on this supersonic red, although dusty now, Toyota Tacoma. Again, a fourth gen. 
Love that. Oh, we're going to be putting that on pretty soon too. I'm kind of waiting now until the lift is done to, uh, to do that and a couple other things. Uh, I just want to wait a bit. But do I like it better? Yeah, the weather, fantastic. Um, it's always warm, if not smoking hot here. So if you don't like hot weather, uh, probably not the place for you, but I love hot weather. I love sunshine and I love that it doesn't rain constantly like it does in Ohio. Storms, rains, it seems like every other day when I live there. So, and no winter, no winter. I don't have to shovel driveways anymore. I like that. Uh, Normal Rabbit, hello people. Howdy Rabbit, how you doing? Uh, Rohan Ru, you ride bikes. You talking about motorcycles? I don't anymore, I used to. Last one I had was a Harley Davidson Fat Boy. That uh, was an awesome bike, man. But uh, people just don't pay enough attention and I'll be damned if I'm gonna get mangled in a wreck riding on a motorcycle. Plus down here where I'm at, there's a lot of critters running around, bigger critters. Uh, Stones, you know, we get a lot of chips and windshields and stuff. And that means if you're on a motorcycle, that's hitting you and not the windshield. It's just, it's too dangerous now. Or maybe I've just gotten too wise in my advanced years. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Ryanu, hey Ryanu, what's up? Aloha Rob, how high are you planning to lift your new Tacoma? It's gonna be about three inches um, all in. That includes the lift as well as the height that I'll achieve by putting bigger tires on it. Uh, let's see, Uno, will do, Rob, I have your email address. Yes, please do, I'd love, excuse me, I'd love to see it. Normal Rabbit, me, Texas born and raised 21, excuse me, 21 years. Whereabouts in, uh, in Texas are you? North, South, East, West? Uh, Mumphy, currently running MT Baja Boss ATSL. Plenty of aggressive styling, large shoulder lugs, and very quiet. Well, that's good to hear. Who knows? Maybe in the future I'll try something else like that. I have been on a bit of a Falcon Wild Peak kick for a while. They're on my wife's Jeep. They're on my other Jeep. They were on my last uh, Tacoma or two. Uh, they were on my Gladiators. Uh, I really do like the Falcon Wild Peaks. They ought to be sending me a check or something. You know, as much money as I've spent and publicity as I give them, you know. Hey, real quick, speaking of publicity, don't forget click that subscribe button while you're here. Really helps me out. I'd really appreciate it. Show me a little bit of love. You know what I'm saying? In a, in a good way, a little bit of love. That shows me a little bit of love, you know? And don't forget, click that, uh, that button up there too. I'd appreciate it. Now let's get on to the other reason why um, one might uh, be interested in buying the Falcon Wild Peaks through Toyota right now. Toyota has a thrown in, I guess, it's not costing me any more money because I asked, a road hazard deal if you buy the Falcon Peaks uh, because they are sanctioned with Toyota. Now, what does that mean? It means that Falcon Wild Peak has a deal with Toyota because that's what they're putting on the Tundras now. So you can get them for the Tacoma too. Maybe they'll move them to the Tacoma too, I don't know. But since they're sanctioned by Toyota, they throw in this road hazard thing, which means if you get a nail in the tire, they blow out, there's a problem, something happens, they will replace the tire for free. You can't beat that, right? That does not apply to the BF Goodrich KO2s because they're not a sanctioned tire by Toyota. So you don't get that. Now, obviously you can pay more money for road hazard coverage, I'm sure, but they're not gonna throw it in like they're doing with the Falcons. Just saying, another benefit to buying the Falcon Wild Peaks in addition to that buy three, get one for a dollar right now through Toyota. Um, definitely a good reason to switch over to Falcons if you haven't, um, or if you need tires, I should say. Uh, Rohan Row, out here in India, motorcycles run the streets. Oh yeah, I mean, I've seen videos from uh, YouTubers, live streams, and others that are in uh, India. And uh, if I wouldn't have a car if I lived in India. It's so congested. I don't even know how you get around. But motorcycles, you just zip in and out of everywhere, and they're not really going fast. So I'm not sure how you really get hurt unless you sprain your ankle when you fall down or something. Uh, but definitely the way to go if you live in an area like India, for sure. Rabbit, Central Texas, gotcha, near Dallas. Okay, so you're... You're a good distance away from me. 
Uh, Paul Harris says, I had no idea that the lift included the wheels and tires. That is a heck of a deal for 4500 Yeah, that's what I said. When I first, uh, when I first contacted them, uh, I was not aware of that. And then they told me that it includes... Um, by the way, I'm not paying forty five hundred dollars. I'll I'll let you guys know later, uh, once I get the lift and the you know everything's done. But anyway, um, it includes the lift, the labor, uh, and the wheels and tires. Man, I mean, how what now? That it's forty five hundred because it depends on what tires you get. Obviously, the Ko twos are more expensive than the Falcon Wild Peaks, and it depends on whether you have a two-wheel or four-wheel. I mean, there's other things. What part of the country you live in, um, whether or not the dealership is uh, greedy and trying to make a little more uh, green off of the deal. But um, that's a pretty good deal, I think. I mean, you know, wheels and tires in the past, for me, before, I've paid, I don't know, like 3,300 bucks, man. Uh, you take that away from, let's say, $4,500, you are down to $1,200 uh, for the lift, which is the, the parts, the materials, the... There is a bird. Look at this. This little sucker. I wonder if he's going to try to fly in here. Look at him. He's right down there. You guys see that guy? Oh, wait a minute. Well, I guess you don't. He saw he was on camera and he flew away. That's live video for you, right? Here I'm trying to show you some nature and the thing flew away. Uh, let's see. Uh, Japan cracker. Um, it was like Japanese saltines or something. I don't know what that means, but hello. How are you? Uh, Ryanu Azana. Aloha, Rob. Does the lift include the suspension as well? Um... I'm not sure what you mean by that. Uh, the lift, uh, depending on what you get, is the suspension, sort of. I'm not sure what you mean there. Uh, you'll have to clarify that for me, or maybe I just, I just don't know. I don't know. So that's what we've got going on. It should be here, like I said, next week. I expect to have it installed next week. Um, I for sure will let you guys know how it goes. I'm gonna try to shoot some video uh, at the dealership. Uh, we'll see if they uh, let me do that or if it's uh, even possible to do that. I don't know. Uh, Bill W. Tires will work well with four-wheel drive. Um, I suppose they would. Huckabar, Huckabro. Huckabro? I don't know. Have you seen the new 2025 Forerunner? It looks sick. Yes, I've seen pictures. I don't know. For me, I mean, I'm not a Forerunner hater. Um, but it's an SUV. I mean, I, you know, I, I can't get, get excited about an SUV. It's just not my thing. Again, it's, it's kind of personal preference and what you're into, I suppose, you know? I mean, if you like uh, SUVs and stuff, then, you know, we all like different things. I mean, my sister, she's got a Volkswagen Beetle. Some people, I don't dislike those either, but some people don't like them. They never buy one. So it's all dependent upon what you like for me, I'm not really a forerunner guy. I don't have anything against them, um, but it's just not my thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I have seen it. It looks it looks okay. It looks good. Um, I wouldn't describe it as sick, but personal preference, right? Uh, Normal Rabbit, how do you feel about Broncos? Ah, they're growing on me. When I first saw the Bronco, I wasn't a big fan of it. I thought it was kind of fugly, you know, uh, but... I since have seen some that they've put bigger wheels and tires with some offset, kind of spread it out a little bit, get it up in the air. And I got to say, there are some really nice looking Broncos out there. Uh, is it something I would get? Probably not. Um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a Jeep guy, uh, so I probably would stick with the Jeep. Although it's interesting, they've recently come out, there was a report, you know, what's going on? What's happening to Jeep sales? And they're attributing it to people liking and switching to the Ford Bronco as opposed to, say, the Jeep Wrangler. I don't know. I don't see it. I mean, for me, the Jeep will always be uh, better, will always be more able than what the, the Ford Bronco is, even though we get into a dependability debate, of course, about the Jeeps. But eh, I don't know. I, I dig the Jeep. So Bronco... I don't know. I don't hate those either. You know, I probably 
would put them in the same category for me as the forerunner when it comes to appearance. Um, yeah, you know. Uh, let's see. Normal Rabbit. I like both Jeeps and... Did I get him? Little bugger. And they're fast, these gnats, man. They buzz around 120 mile an hour and they're hard to kill. I like both Jeeps and Broncos. Well, that's cool. Gives you more uh, opportunity, more to choose from, I guess. All right, got to have a little sip of the green nectar here. Mm. There we go. Let's take uh, a look. We got to take a look at the uh, gorgeous supersonic red 2024 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. Can I make it any more dramatic for you? Check that sucker out. And this is sitting in the garage in dim light. I mean, look at how this thing glistens in here, even in this dim light we've got, right? I mean, I just think it's freaking awesome. Love the truck. Really, really happy uh, that I decided to go with it. You know, when the truck first came out, I was a little bit unsure. Uh, wasn't uh, quite positive that I was going to go with uh, the new truck. But I have to say, I do dig it. I think maybe this back here was a little bit of foreshadowing for me. You guys can see that. It is a red. Uh, that happens to be a TRD Pro. Uh, but it looks very similar <coughs> to the truck that I got. So maybe there was a little bit of foreshadowing uh, before I got this truck. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get off here now. It's lunchtime. I'm hungry. I'm going to go eat something real quick. On your way out, if you wouldn't mind, I'd really appreciate you dropping a subscribe. If you wouldn't mind, helps out the channel, shows me a little bit of love. You know what I'm saying? Still need to get that Barry White music playing in the background. Well, I can't because that would be a copyright problem. Uh, but anyway, uh, I would appreciate if you did. Don't forget the thumbs up button on the stream. That helps me out as well. And if you're interested and you want to catch every little thing that I do on this channel, which I don't know why you wouldn't, make sure you click the notification bell. That way, when I put out live streams or videos or anything, really, uh, you'll get a notification that something has happened. I've actually done something. Uh, Normal Rabbit, the red is beautiful. Bye-bye, fam. Uh, Ryan U says, enjoy your day, Rob, and God bless you and your family. Same back at you, Ryan U, and everybody else on here. Appreciate you guys. I really do. Stay tuned. Lots of exciting things coming here in the future. Have a great day. Bye.